morning, everybody. Let's get together and talk about birds. Remember this bird puzzle? Tell me what you remember about birds. Birds are vertebrates. What does that mean? That means they have a backbone. Birds are warm-blooded, like we are warm-blooded. Fish are cold-blooded. Frogs are cold-blooded. But birds are warm-blooded. And that means their body temperature stays the same. It doesn't change with the temperature around them. Bird's body is covered in feathers. Birds have two legs. And remember the claws the chicks have for digging, looking for worms and bugs. Birds have wings. Birds have beaks. And remember when I showed your baby chick? What do birds have on their beaks? Remember two little dots on their beaks? Nostrils. Fish have nostrils, frogs have nostrils, we have nostrils. Birds have nostrils on their beaks for breathing. And what else do birds have on their heads? This puzzle doesn't show you, but I showed you on that chick, on that brown chick, remember? The round circle right behind the bird's eye, the chick's eye. Those are ears. Bird's ears don't look like our ears. They look more like frog's ears. Just a circle, just an eardrum. Oh, and one more very important thing about birds. Birds lay eggs. Birds lay eggs. Early in spring, about this time of the year, Birds find a mate, a partner, they make a nest, and a female bird lays eggs in the nest. She has to sit on them for a while to keep them warm until one day a chick hatches. When the chicks are just hatched, they have legs, they can run and walk right away, they have a beak, they can eat by themselves right away. They don't have feathers, however. Their body is covered in down. And down doesn't keep them warm very much. So their mother has to keep them warm. When we got baby chicks, we had them under a lamp. heating lamp, yes, to keep them warm because they don't have feathers yet when they just hatch. As they eat and grow, eat and grow, eat and grow, then down falls out and get replaced by feathers. And one day their whole body will be covered in feathers and then they'll become independent, and then they'll become adult birds. And one day, if that's a female adult bird, she'll lay eggs. And those eggs will crack, and the chick will hatch, and the chick will become an adult, and a female adult will lay eggs, and the chick will hatch, and that's the life cycle of a bird. I have some worksheets for you about the life cycle of a bird. I hope you enjoy doing them, and have a great day.